guys and welcome back to my channel thank you very much for joining me if you're seeing my face for the very first time in your life please click that red button to join the nelly nose family because every week i dish out new videos for your viewing pleasure i discuss lifestyle food travel canada everything and anything nelly nose tv is the hub for you so please click the red button to join the family and of course if you're a returning subscriber thank you very much for always coming back and for always checking me out thank you guys I've been MIA for two weeks. I've been missing in action for two weeks now. I'm very sorry. I've been very busy. That's why. But in today's video, I have an amazing content for you guys, okay? I have to make up my absence. So I have an amazing content for you guys to watch. Something trending these days is called the best and the worst reviewed makeup artist in my city. So I live in Calgary, Canada. So today, I'll be visiting the best reviewed makeup artist in my city. Now, this person, I found her on Instagram. Her name is House of Disha Makeover. Based on the reviews I saw on her page on Instagram, she She's really, really good. She's five out of five. She's top notch. So, you know, I'll go to her studio today to see how good she really, really is. Like I said, her name is House of Disha Makeover. And the theme or what I want her to do on me is African Queen. I want to look like an African Queen. I want to look like Lupita Youngo. <laughs> Let's see how well she can pull this off. Guys, let's be very interactive. Please leave a comment and tell me what you think of her makeup skills. Let's see if she can transform me from the usual old me to Lupita Youngo. Let's see how well she can do this. So guys, please stay tuned. Let's dive head first into this video. Okay, she's just prepping my face with the hydrating mist and then she's patting it down with this cotton. I was really happy to see that this makeup artist had all her products ready for me. I didn't have to wait too long in her studio. As soon as I came, she started with the makeup. Her brushes were really pristine. Everywhere was perfectly clean. So yes, I was really impressed by that. So she gets an A plus from me for cleanliness. She's applying primer on my face. Personally, I think this primer is a bit too much. Um, I have oily skin and then the primer seems to be very oily as well. So on a normal day, I won't apply this much on my face. But let's see how it turns out eventually. But I just feel that the primer is a bit too much. She's applying highlight right now. I'm surprised because usually highlight comes after the foundation. But this makeup artist is applying it right after the primer. I'm a bit confused, but I guess that's what works for her. So let's just see how it turns out um, eventually, but I'm just a bit taken aback by that. I noticed right off the bat that this makeup artist uses a lot of high-end makeup brands. Everything right down to the eyelash, everything was really high-end. And that's, you know, I think that's quite good based on the price tag for a makeup session with her. She charges $100. So what do you guys think? Do you think $100 is a bit too low for the quality of products that she uses? Or do you think it's okay? Or do you think it's a bit too high? What do you guys think? Please leave a comment down below. Let's be very interactive and let's um, discuss. What do you guys think? Of her makeup skills so far right now um is looking okay what do you guys think please leave a comment down below contour i like what a good contour can do to the face i really like contouring because a good contour can make your face look very defined and very symmetrical it enhances your features but if you don't contour your face very well you can look like a village masquerade blend 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 you need to blend she's really blending it well to avoid any demarcations between the contour and the highlight so she's blending it properly let's see what this contour looks like eventually do you think i'll look like a beyonce or kim kardashian <laughs> what do you guys think oh my god all right let's see what i can't wait to see what this thing looks like eventually when all this makeup is done i can't wait
wow i feel this setting spray is a bit too much considering she already put primer on my face at the beginning before applying the foundation so i hope this makeup doesn't look cakey and you know doesn't have a lot of cracks in it but let's just see what it looks like All right, guys, she's putting color corrector um, on my face in place of blush. Apparently, if you don't have blush, you can substitute um, with color corrector. Do you guys know about this? Please leave a comment down below. So she's just blending it out to give the illusion that I have blush on my face. But instead, it's just color corrector. So it's just a magic trick. Oh, my God. What do you guys think about this trick? Please leave a comment. Let's, let's discuss this. Okay, she carved my eyebrow off camera so and um, my eyebrow is already carved she did that off camera so right now she just taming my eyebrows and we are about to do the eye makeup i can't wait to see how the eye makeup will turn out so let's see how she does this because i'm really big on eye makeup so let's see whether she can pull this off Okay, I'm really happy to see that she's using the Nubian Juvia Place eyeshadow palette because this palette is really good. A little goes a long way because the eyeshadows are really pigmented. So um, right now she's applying the eyeshadow on my eyelids. However, I feel like she's not doing a lot, you know, she's not really doing justice to this eyeshadow palette. I feel or I hoped or wished that she, you know, she really accentuated my eyes with this eyeshadow palette. I wish she used brighter colors, but um, let's just see how everything will turn out. But I just wish she used the blues and the greens in the eyeshadow palette rather than the brown.
man like i'm blown away by this makeup i feel she is doing an amazing job and um, this is exactly the way i imagined this makeup in my head before i came into the studio i feel like i look like lupita Youngo. what do you guys think i feel like i look exactly like the picture that um you know i was aiming for so what do you guys think so far but i really like it on a scale of one to five i'll give her a four and i need to point out as well that you know i feel like she took her time with me she didn't rush she wasn't very rushy rushing she took her time i've been here for an hour now and i never felt like she was tired or she was trying to finish up quickly to rush up to the next client i feel like she gave me her undivided attention and i feel like she puts a lot of work in her craft so yeah i get she gets a four out of five from me what do you guys think please rate her in the comment section Yay, this is the part we've all been waiting for. She's tying the gele. For those of you that aren't Nigerians, this is called a gele or a head tie. And you need a lot of practice and patience to get this right. So right now, she's tying the gele, okay? You need pins to keep your gele in place. Because if you go for a location for a wedding or for a birthday party, if your gele isn't very secure, it can fall off your head and it's very embarrassing. So try to secure your gele with pins. Finally, we've come to the end of this makeup session. I love this makeup. I feel like she did an amazing job. She blew me off the water. I really like this. What do you guys think? I can't wait to get your feedback on this. Please leave a comment down below and let me know what you think of her makeup skills. But I really, really like this. She did an amazing job and I'll give her a 4 out of 5. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, like, subscribe and share this video. See you guys very soon. Bye.